Hello, I'm Miss Ginger of Greenhouse Preschool, and today I'll be reading one of my favorite stories about the rewards of honesty, The Empty Pot by Demi. Once upon a time in China, there lived a young boy named Ping who loved flowers. Anything he planted would burst into bloom. Up came flowers, bushes, and even big fruit trees, as if by magic. Everyone in the kingdom of China loved flowers, too. There were so many things in bloom. Everyone planted flowers everywhere, and the air smelled like perfume. The emperor of China loved flowers and birds and animals, but he loved flowers most of all, and he tended his own garden every day. But the emperor knew that he was getting very old, and he would need to find a successor to be the next emperor of China. Hmm, who would his successor be, and how would he choose? Since the emperor loved flowers so much, he decided to let the flowers choose. The next day, a proclamation was issued. All the children in all of China may come to the palace. There, they will be given a special flower seed by the emperor. And the emperor told them, Whichever child can show me their best in one year's time will succeed me to the throne and become the next emperor of all of China. Well, of course, the news created great excitement and all the children lined up to receive their flower seeds from the emperor. All the parents wanted their children to be chosen by the emperor also. And all the children certainly hoped they would be chosen too. When Ping received his flower from the emperor, he was the happiest child of all. He was sure that he could grow the most beautiful flower. Ping went home and filled a flower pot with very rich soil. He planted the seed in it very carefully. Ping watered his seed every day. He couldn't wait to see it sprout and grow and blossom into a beautiful flower. But day after day passed, and nothing grew in Ping's pot. Ping was very worried. He put new soil in a bigger pot, and then he carefully transferred the seed into the new rich black soil. Another two months passed, and nothing grew in Ping's big pot. By and by, the whole year passed by. Spring came, and all the children put on all their best clothing to greet the emperor. They rushed to the palace with their pots full of beautiful flowers, eagerly each hoping to be chosen to be the next emperor. Ping was so ashamed of his empty pot. He thought that all the other children would laugh at him because for once, when it mattered most, he couldn't get that flower to grow. One of his clever friends ran by holding a great big flower plant. Ping, he said, you're not really going to take that empty pot to the emperor, are you? Couldn't you grow a nice big flower like mine? I've grown lots of flowers bigger than that, Ping said. It's just that this seed won't grow. Ping's father overheard this and said, Ping, you did your best, and your best is good enough to present to the emperor. Sadly holding the empty pot, Ping went straight away to the palace. The emperor was looking at all the children holding their big beautiful flowers, and he was studying them one by one. How beautiful the flowers all were, but the emperor was frowning, and he did not say a word to any of them. Finally, he came to Ping, standing with his empty pot. Ping was felt ashamed, and he was expecting to be in trouble. The emperor smiled and asked him, You, why did you bring an empty pot? Ping started to cry and replied, 
Your Emperor, I planted the seed you gave me, and I watered it every day, but it didn't sprout. I put it in a better pot with better soil, and it still didn't sprout. I tended it all year long, but nothing grew. So today, I had to bring you an empty pot without a flower. It was the best I could do. And when the Emperor heard this, he smiled so big and he put his arm around Ping. And then he exclaimed to one and all, I have found him. I have found the one person worthy of being Emperor. When you all got your seeds, I had boiled them. They had been cooked, so it was impossible for any of them to grow. I don't know where the rest of you got your seeds, but they were not the ones I gave you. I admire Ping's great courage to appear before me with nothing but the naked truth. And now I reward him with my entire kingdom and make him emperor of all the land. And so it was. The end. Thank you for listening.